Hey what's up guys it's Atrix here in today's video I'll be showing you how to set up Shad PS4 emulator on your PC and play games like Bloodborn on it well before getting started let me explain that Shad PS4 is an completely open source PlayStation 4 emulator for PC which is compatible with Windows Linux and Mac OS and it is written in C++ also I'll be talking about minimum requirements later on but currently it has managed to boot some games like Sonic Mania Bloodborne Dark Souls and lot more I'll show you guys the gameplay later on in this video video but the most important thing which you'll need to note is the keyboard mapping because shared ps4 is relatively easy to run on your pc the emulator itself not the games obviously but you'll be able to see the controller buttons are mapped like this and you can't really map the controls according to your preferences for now so you will need numpad keys on your keyboard and if you don't have them then i'll explain how to get them later on nonetheless let's start setting up this emulator so in the releases section you'll be able to find the official global launch of shared ps4 version 2.0 which is not the version that we'll be using for today's video as it is not capable of emulating bloodborne so the version that we'll be using can be found in the actions tab afterwards towards the left side you'll be able to see the windows qt option which is the most important part here you'll be able to find all the latest builds of shared ps4 emulator which are completely updated as you will be able to see this build was created just two hours ago and also dlc support is currently being added as of me filming this video that is pretty interesting but let's go with the latest version of shared ps4 emulator you just have to simply tap here but make sure to log into your github account or else you won't be able to get this shared ps4 win64 qt build the next step will be to simply extract the shared ps4 emulator into the directory of your choice so i'll press on extract here and there we go we got the shared ps4 emulator now for the first time you can simply double Double tap on this emulator it should start without giving any issues and if it shows a blank screen then you'll need to add the latest version of microsoft visual drivers onto your pc if it just shows a black command line screen anyways this is the most important step well it will ask you to choose the directory where you want to add your ps4 games inside the shared ps4 emulator so i'll simply tap on the browse option and select the folder where i will be storing my ps4 games which i want to emulate inside this emulator so i'll simply tap on select folder then tap on the ok button and there we go it will automatically start loading games list if you have already dumped your ps4 game into that folder well if you haven't dumped already then let me tell you guys the things which you need to do so let's close this folder and right here go to the file section afterwards choose the package option which will be the first option which is given here and then you'll need to simply choose the ps4 game package file which you want to play inside of the shared ps4 emulator for example i have gotten bloodborne ps4 game right here and you'll need the decrypted version of the game or else it will not work so simply tap on the game that you want to import afterwards tap on the open button and now as i have already added the game it is showing me that game is already present do you want to override but if you haven't added any game then it will show you extracting pkg now this is a very lengthy process it will depend according to the size of the game and also the processing power of your computer for me it almost took like 10 to 15 minutes for this game to be extracted so it will require a good amount of time though once it has been extracted you will notice that your game will be visible here and if you tap on it you will see the title screen as the background of the shared ps4 emulator which is pretty cool and you also get the controller button well shared ps4 does have support for dual shock controllers as well as xbox controller so you can pair it up with your pc to start playing right away but if you are using keyboard setup then before i show you guys how that works let's tap on the settings and select configure so here you will find some general settings like console language enable full screen if it is ps4 pro or if you want to show it as ps4 pro as well as username you can customize all of this but i generally recommend you guys to keep it as default and in terms of graphics settings graphics device make sure to select your graphics card which you want to use primarily for ps4 emulation on your pc if you want it to auto select then you can do that as well and here we have the resolution of our game it is set to 1280 by 720 which i do recommend you guys 720p resolution is the best you can achieve in this simulator for now even on rtx 4090 gpus the game won't provide you the best amount of performance and in terms of advanced settings make sure to keep them as default 
in terms of debug setting these are all experimental and you can change this if your game is not working well i'll upload a dedicated best setting video for shad ps4 pretty soon so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification if you want to watch that video you will also need to add some additional modules which you can dump from your ps4 into the shad ps4 emulator i'll also be making a video on it pretty soon so be sure to hit that subscribe button basically with the external modules they are not necessarily completely required but still if you add them then it will be good for emulation well for today's video we'll simply double tap on the game or press the play button at the top and afterwards you'll notice in the command line you will get some load modules etc and you'll see a lot of these red text going on you can simply minimize it but it is recommended that you at least have 16 to 32 gb of ram for you to be emulating games like bloodborne on your pc you will also need minimum windows version 10 or above if you want to try out this emulator along with that i definitely recommend you guys to have at least uh, gtx 1650 ti or above even if you want to try out small games like sonic mania a rtx gpu if you want to emulate huge titles like bloodborne and here we go guys as you will be able to see bloodborne has successfully started on our windows pc now to control it using your keyboard if you don't have the numpad keys then what you'll need to do is press the windows button and then r button it will open the windows run command where you'll simply need to type osk and then tap on the enter button afterwards you'll get the on screen keyboard for windows which can be used to control blood bonds so if i press the number 2 key you'll be able to see that our game is now moving forward anyways we'll simply start a new game i'll press on the 2 button once again and yeah you will be able to scroll down using the arrow keys of your keyboard which is pretty useful i'll press the 2 button once again and yeah scroll down and let's go to the next option so all of this can be controlled pretty easily on your pc and if your game is just showing on black screen here's a tip for you guys you'll need to you'll need to restart the shared ps4 multiple times so just close the shared ps4 emulator afterwards restart it restart your game until it boots on your pc that's what i found most useful but you'll be able to see that our blood pawn an actual ps4 title is about to start to play your game in full screen you can simply go to settings and then to configure afterwards make sure to choose the enable full screen option in emulator settings tap on the apply button tap on save button and yeah that's about it let's reopen our game and this time you'll notice that it will open in a full screen mode so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification because i'll be uploading the full gameplay video of bloodborne on chat ps4 emulator on my pc pretty soon i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out